Hi everyone, Simona here from Vector Twist. In today's tutorial, I would like to show you how to create an icon in Illustrator. And since I've been playing the game The Contest of Champions, and I really dig those Marvel champions, I thought, why not use Deadpool to create an icon out of it? As you can see here, I have a sketch of Deadpool, so we're going to create an icon. First, let's grab the rectangle tool, and then let's create a rectangle right around his head. I've set the stroke to black and the fill to none. Then, we're going to drag out some guides. Make sure you have your rulers turned on. So I'll select the rectangle, and I'm going to drag a guide into the middle, horizontally and one vertically. Then let's switch to the direct selection tool, grab this anchor point here on the bottom, and move it in 20 points. If you press the shift and hold the shift key on the keyboard and the arrow keys, you can notch it in 10 points each. So I'll have to tap twice, and I'm going to do this on the other side as well. Now we'll switch to the pen tool and we're going to create some lines. One up here and then one on the bottom down there. Then with the direct selection tool we're going to extend them. And as you can see here in Illustrator CC we have now a line extension guide, which is really, really helpful. Then we select both and then we're going to use the reflect tool. So just press O on the keyboard and then we're going to reflect and copy them. So I'll press the shift and the alt key or option key at the same time and then I let go. Now we've created a copy, and then we can select all of it, open up the Pathfinder panel, here let me drag it out, and then we're going to click the Divide button. With the Direct Selection tool I'm going to grab all of those extra triangles here, I'm going to delete them. As you can see, we already have a shape for the face. Now we're going to make use of the dynamic corners here in Illustrator. These are really nifty, so watch what happens if I select this anchor point, and I pull in this little circle. I'm rounding out the path, but you can also do it to multiple anchor points. So I'm just selecting the top two, I pull it in slightly, and then I'm going to select the two on the outside here, I'm going to pull it in as well, then I'm going to do the same on the bottom, select both, and round it out, and the same with the chin. And there we go, we have the first shape for our icon for Deadpool. Next we want to add the black part here for the face mask. So we need the ellipse tool. So over there in the toolbar, grab the ellipse tool, and then we're going to place an ellipse, approximately this size. And then back to the direct selection tool, we'll grab the top anchor point, and then we'll notch it over, maybe 10 or 12 points. Grab the bottom, move it to the right, and the one here in the middle on the right, and move it out a little bit. Now we can tweak the shape a little bit with the handles, which just pull them inwards, and we're just following the sketch here and maybe we'll pull this down or even move the whole point downwards a little bit. And then we'll grab the handle and push it up. It's all about tweaking really. If you have a sketch, it's very easy to grab the direct selection tool and then alter anchor points via either the anchor points themselves or the handles. Now back to the pen tool. We want to create this line here. So we'll start first on top of here outside of our face shape and then down to the bottom and then we'll curving it out. Of course, again, we can use the direct selection tool to tweak things. After that, we're going to select our line and the ellipse, and of course, make a copy again to the other side. So let's reflect it again, and maybe move it out a little bit. And then we need to create more ellipses. We need to create a shape up here, so we can actually give the top part a darker red, while the face will be bright red. So back to the ellipse tool, we're creating another ellipse move it downwards, and now with the scissor tool I'm just going to cut off the ends here, and I'm going to delete the bottom part, and then we need another shape for the side here. And as you can see here from the sketch, this part will be red as well, but it will meet the lines that we've created. So let's simply select both of the lines and make a copy in the front. So I'm just going to show you copy, edit, paste in front, and then we're going to cut it as well. So back with the scissor tool, make sure you're on the line, just a little bit above, same on the other side, and then we'll delete the top part. Of course it will not totally disappear because we have the other line right beneath. Then we'll select it, use the pen tool and extend it. Same with the other side, pen tool and extend it. Now we're going to create a copy of our first shape here. So select it and let's create a copy in the back. So copy, back, and then we're going to object, path, offset path. Let's offset it by three points. I'll check the preview here. And then we're going to select the first shape again. We're going to create another copy behind. So back to copy, 
paste in back, select the first one, half of the circle here, and the two outside lines, and then back to the pathfinder, click divide. And with the direct selection tool, we're going to need parts that stick out. And now we can give it a color. So if I select the middle part here, I'm going to give it a bright red. The top part, a darker red. Same here with the outside parts. We'll fill it with a darker red. Of course, we select everything and we'll turn off the stroke. And of course, we'll select first big shape that we've created offset here. And we turn that into black. And then we want to select the cut up parts and send it to the back on top of the black shape. Then we select both lines and let's put the stroke to three points. Then go to object, path, and let's outline the stroke. And then we select our shapes here for the eyes, for the mask, and let's switch it to the fill, but let's give it a charcoal color, not a black color. Then let's select the black shape, the lines, and our ellipses back to Pathfinder and let's click Divide. Of course, everything is brought back to front, so let's just select those black parts and let's delete them. And then we can also delete the lines that are sticking out. Same here on the bottom. And let's zoom in. There are some extras. Just select them with the direct selection tool and hit delete on the keyboard. And then we want to select the inside parts here and give it a charcoal color. And the same on the bottom here. We're going to choose those pieces, choose the darker red, but double click the color picker and just slide the brightness down a little bit to make it a little bit darker. Now let's select everything and let's move it away so we can see our sketch again. We need to create the eyes now. So let's zoom in and let's set the stroke to black. Turn off the fill and then let's grab the brush tool. So what we want to do here is simply create the outlines of the eyes. So I follow my sketch and one underneath. Of course, you can tweak it with the direct selection tool if you wanted to. Select the top part and increase the stroke, maybe into three points. Then underneath the paintbrush tool, we have the blob tool. So let's choose that one, switch it to white, and then let's fill the inside with white. So let's zoom in again so we can see it better. So with the blob tool here, I'm just going to fill in the white part of the eyes, and then I'm going to send it back. Then back to the paintbrush tool, we'll choose black again, and then we create a line just underneath, just like that. And then we're going to choose maybe a lighter gray, and then we'll put one brush stroke on top, and then maybe one in between here. Back to black, let's zoom in a little bit more, and let's just close this off here to make it a little bit thicker. And then we zoom out. While we have the paintbrush tool here, let's also create one in the middle here for the top part of the nose, and one for the bottom of the nose. Then let's select the eye, and group it back to the reflect tool and let's make a copy onto the other side and there we go we're almost finished we just need to zoom out and move the eyes and parts of the nose over onto our icon so let me hide the guides here we have it we've created a deadpool icon from a sketch here in illustrator we might want to add a few more definitions to the nose so let's zoom in grab the rectangle tool create a rectangle on top here fill it with the darker red then with the pen tool, add an extra point on the top and an extra point on the bottom. Notch it down on both sides. And then, of course, we're going to make use of the dynamic corners and round it out a little bit. And then we want to make sure we'll send it to the back behind the eyes. And then maybe one small triangle underneath here, just to create an illusion of a shadow. Round it out and send it behind. And that's it. We've created a Deadpool icon here in Illustrator. So just let me hide the sketch and let's move this into the middle. Zoom in. There we go. Now, if you like this tutorial, please leave a comment below. And of course, also subscribe to the channel here. And please make sure to come back and check because we have more tutorials coming up. I'll see you later.